This next gentleman comes all the way from, uh, oh, from around here, Michigan. Uh, <laughs> Dearborn, as a matter of fact. Please welcome Matt McClowry. Give him a nice round of applause. Matt McClowry. Hi. You guys having a good day? Yeah, I was having a bad day earlier. Let me ask you a question. Is it a bad sign when you wake up in the morning contemplating suicide, then your horoscope tells you your new idea is solid? <laughs> I'm pretty happy, really. I have a girlfriend. She's great. Problem is, we've only been together for six months and she's starting to get way too serious. The other night she said to me, I just don't know what my life would be like without you. It'd be like October. <laughs> she wants kids. I like kids, I just don't like how people my age, they give their kids last names for first names. I have a cousin who has three kids and she named them McKenna, Hunter, and Finley. Those aren't babies, that's a law firm. <laughs> I mean, I want to get married. Gay marriage is legal, and I think that's great. Uh, I'm Catholic, but I'm open-minded. So as far as I'm concerned, whatever you do in your bedroom is fine, as long as you're ashamed of it. <laughs> uh, that's, oh my gosh, darn. That's between you and the devil. That's all. I, we make too big of a deal out of weddings, though. I was at that store, Yankee Candle, where they sell the scented candles like Clean Cotton and Autumn Breeze. They had one there called Wedding Day. It's like, if you want to smell a wedding day, don't buy a candle. Light 25 grand on fire? <laughs> then watch your cousin throw up on it. That's... <laughs> Maybe I'm just bitter, though, because I'm not married. I feel like I'm married, though, I'll tell you why. I have a dog, it's a beagle. Yeah, it has those sad eyes. So even though I don't have a wife, I do live with somebody who always looks at me like they're disappointed. <laughs> but never tells me why. And we don't have sex anymore, you know? It's just the worst. <laughs> Some of these are just jokes. <laughs> I've never been to Yankee Candle. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Kmart, though. You ever been inside that place? It's like Target with a disease. <laughs> it's like, picture Walmart if they sold their floor buffer for drug money. <laughs> I read recently because the economy, Kmart was in danger of going out of business, and that blew me away because if you've been inside of Kmart, looks like it went out of business 15 years ago. <laughs> Nobody's in there, nobody works there. All they have is old crap like half-eaten bags of Cheetos <laughs> with clips on them. <laughs> There's movies like Rambo 2 on VHS. Their slogan should be Kmart. We've given up as much as the people who shop here. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't feel like a shopper when I'm inside of a Kmart. I feel like I'm an archeologist, you know? Like I'm exploring ruins. It's a box of crystal Pepsi. I saw a fat guy today because I live in America and I was outside with my eyes open. It, 
He had a WWJD bracelet on. I was like, what would Jesus do? I'm like, I don't know, crunches? <laughs> Shouldn't pick on fat, fat people. I used to be overweight when I was in high school. I played football. I was an offensive lineman. When you're an offensive lineman, you and four other fat guys block the quarterback. That's the tallest, best-looking kid in school. And if your team wins, he gets credit for all of your hard work. Yeah, that doesn't impress girls. It does explain why there's not a girls' football team, though, because girls are too smart to fall for that. Yeah. I'm sorry, if you told five fat girls to block their prom queen, yeah, she's getting sacked every gosh darn play. That's all I have to say about that. That's my time, everybody. Have a good night. I'm Matt McClellan. Matt McClellan, give him a nice round of applause, Matt. And all of